Okay, so we are now at the reptile store and we are here to pick up two chameleons and their um, cage and their setup. So, in we go. Thank you, sir. In the end, we only decided to get one chameleon because if we were to get two, we would have to get separate enclosures for each one. And to be honest, my apartment isn't that big. And the second reason is because chameleons are more solitary animals, they do not appreciate having roommates at all times. They are kind of territorial once they reach adulthood. Even males and females can't be housed together because um, they would threaten each other with hissing and bright coloration. Eventually, they'll start fighting and wound each other. This would cause a lot of stress to your chameleon and would definitely shorten your chameleon's lifespan. We got um, an automatic mister and a chameleon kit. So this is our eight week old chameleon. He's about the size of a popsicle stick right now. And we put him inside this plastic container with some tissue for him to climb on while he's waiting for me to put his enclosure together. They had these stickers on each side that had to be matched up in order for the screws to go into the right place. And it took me forever to figure out. So the kit came with, yes, the cage and a heat lamp and a UVB lamp. The UVB light bulb, I feel, isn't enough for the chameleon. I'm probably going to be switching that out soon. It also came with some Repisafe water cleaner and some calcium powder. So this is our cage all set up. Um, right now at the bottom we have some fake grass pads that came with the chameleon kit. I do not like those, to be honest. Um, the next day I went to the pet store and switched that out for some Reptibark that traps more humidity. Much better. And um, I put some Devil's Ivy in there because I heard that chameleons love this stuff. They can actually eat it too. Um, next is the automatic mister. Um, if you set this up right, it's actually really good for your chameleon. I have it on for 15 seconds every three hours. The reason why I have it at that time is because we live in Las Vegas and it's very, very dry. And chameleons don't like drinking out of bowls. They do not like still water. They drink off the leaves, the water droplets off the leaves from the rain. So that's why we have that set up. And if you live in a much more humid climate, um, you don't really have to miss them that much. Just give them a chance to drink water every, let's say, four or five hours using a spray bottle and just spray down the whole cage. Veiled chameleons like to keep their humidity around 50 to 65 percent, so that's something you should keep in mind, too. So this is our little um, impromptu chameleon enclosure for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going back to the pet store to get him some better stuff. But this will have to do for now. Time to put him in his cage. There he is. He's just so tiny and fragile. He didn't want to leave my finger, so I fed him some crickets to make him trust me a little more. So, the next day we went back to the pet store and I've got him a lot of new stuff. Got him new vines and new... Um, places for him to climb. I put a cloth on this one side of the enclosure so the 
mister does not overshoot the enclosure and short circuit something on the outside because the plug is on the right side of the tank or the enclosure. We feed our chameleon a diet of crickets, usually about 50 crickets, about $3. Um, you should feed your crickets to your chameleon every day because they grow really fast. This is Jerry shedding. And when chameleons shed, lay off on misting them. Don't spray the water. Let them shed on their own. Don't try to help them at all. They know what they're doing. Usually baby chameleons shed within a few hours because they're so small. Just leave them alone. They'll be fine. So, if you want to get a chameleon because you think that they can change colors into their backgrounds at will, I have some bad news for you. They cannot do that. You may have seen the video on the internet where a chameleon touches a certain object and turns into that color immediately. That is a fake. Chameleons don't do that. They change color according to their, their um, emotions. So, if a chameleon is light green, that means they're relaxed and happy, like... Jerry is right now. And if a chameleon is dark and spotted, that means they're stressed out and that's not a good sign. If your chameleon is completely dark and just under a light, that could just mean that they're trying to absorb as much heat as they can and just try to leave them alone when they're a darker color. When they're a lighter color, um, you could move up to their cage and look at them just don't move too fast they get scared really easily especially baby chameleons when they're always stressed out because they don't understand what's going on around them So chameleons are more for display, for show, right? So don't pick up your chameleon too much. Don't handle them regularly. That's not recommended. They stress out really, really easily, and that can shorten their lifespans.
Jerry does this sometimes to drink water off the screen because the mister overshoots the enclosure and he has to hang from a branch and kind of Spider-Man his way to drink water. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of Jerry, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next video. We will be posting more of Jerry's daily life. We will also be making another video of us trying to breed our own crickets for Jerry. We'll see how that goes. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will read them one by one and reply to you as best I can.